morning, folks. Saturday morning. Sitting out back here. Um, had an early morning. Been up for a little bit. Probably should have done this sooner. But I was thinking about Adam and Eve again. Uh, my mind often wanders back to the garden. Um, and I wonder if deep down inside it's some sort of a innate longing that we all have. Um, for things to be the way God intended for them to be. But I think about them, I think about the, the fall. And interestingly enough, the Bible describes them as having been naked, but they didn't even realize they were naked till after the fall. So, while nakedness was part of God's original equation, apparently, um, it came to be a point of shame and guilt. Um, because the first thing that they did after they fell is that uh, the Bible tells us that they, they realized that they were naked and were ashamed and sought to find some semblance of covering. And of all things, they used fig leaves to cover themselves. Fig leaves. I mean, leaves, period, is kind of an odd covering. Um, but at any rate, they had made, uh, the King James Version says, aprons for themselves from fig leaves. So they attempted to cover their own guilt and their own shame. And you know what? Didn't work. You know, because leaves start to wilt um, and start to um, lose their shape. And it's just not obviously a good covering for clothing. So God comes down. Um, according to what we're told, he would come down every evening to spend time with them. And he comes down, and they hear him coming, and they try to hide. Okay, so one, they sin, they realize they're naked, they make clothing for themselves out of leaves, and then they try to hide from God Almighty. Hmm. Seems that the fall not only brought sin in its wake, but also stupidity. Um, so anyway, God lovingly seeks them out and calls out to Adam, Adam, where are you? Now, that's an interesting statement because God knew where they were. God often will prompt us with questions for our own sake, not for priming us or pumping us for information because God knows it already. Um, I think a lot of times, too, that prayer, persistent prayer, that Jesus tells us to um, um, continue in is also not to convince God to answer the way we want Him to, but for us to know if what we're asking for is really good for us. We have to think about it whenever we pray for it. So anyway, so God comes down. Adam, where are you? Adam says, um, we hid from you because uh, we were ashamed, we were naked, and we hid from you. God says, who told you you were naked? So then the conversation ensues. Adam blames Eve. Eve blames the serpent. God curses the serpent. God makes a promise that one would come who would crush the effects of the serpent. Um, first messianic prophecy in the Bible. And then he does something. He takes away their attempt at making themselves presentable and gives them something that does make them quote-unquote presentable. But it's at a cost. It is at a price. God provides for them skins from animals for suitable clothing. And then they're dismissed from the, from the garden with the promise that the garden would one day be restored by this serpent killer that he promised. Um, grace and mercy are free only to the ones who receive them. Grace and mercy, like anything, will cost something. But it doesn't cost the receiver anything. They just have to receive it. So, just remember that. You know, the cross is for our benefit, but it cost God something. But it didn't cost us anything. But we need to lovingly and gratefully accept it and embrace it and make it ours. Um... Again, I always say this. This is one of the beautiful things about God. And that is, God steps in and does for man what man can't do for himself. 
So keep that in mind. Embrace it, love it, and enjoy it. Um, let's pray. Father, thank you for this Saturday morning. Thank you for all your grace. Thank you for the example that you left behind for us of how you cover us. And you cover our feeble attempts at trying to save ourselves or make ourselves better. Thank you, Lord, for everything. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.